believe you, Calavera. You're losing a fight, so you pick on one of my pets? Why aren't you more like me, Manny? I've been trying to show you how, but you don't listen. If you just adopt the proper attitude, just look what could happen to you. Name? Pugsy Poligiano, sir. Hmm. Waiting room number two. Next. Glories! Glories! It has been. Glories? Where'd you go this time? would love these. Looks like standard DOD issue. Give me a break. Those stairs are murder. Bruno? Bruno Martinez? You! You were the guy who packed me in there! You could have at least given me a magazine! Four years with nothing to read but this damn mug! What are you doing here? And if you were headed this way, why didn't you offer me a lift? Ah! Wait, I'm getting out of here. This world's for suckers. That's no place to put a mug. It's full of caskets. Give me a break. Those stairs are murder. Hello? Whew, they're empty. Manny! What's wrong? Go up there and see! Hey, where is everybody? Waiting area two. How long do they have to wait in there? Until they have tickets. They were issued tickets on the number nine. And they don't have them now. The punishment for selling double-end tickets is very severe. But they didn't sell their tickets. Their tickets were stolen. By who? Hector Le Mans stole them to sell to rich people who don't deserve them. That might be them now. Let's see just what they deserve. Looks a little ungainly, but I bet that hat is really warm. What happened to that train? Your destiny cannot be purchased. I don't understand. Why has everyone been detained? Given a ticket, a soul may not sell it. They didn't sell their tickets. Someone else is trying to. Bring the tickets. That is all. 
The tickets are in Elmaro. How can I get there quickly? These rails are already there. Well, thanks for the help. The gate opens. The gate closes. It does not help. Recently, I was visited by a bird with a human head. Do you know such a bird, Manuel Calavera? No. How do you know my... He knew you, and for you he left this note. I know what you're up to. I've been watching. Stay there. I'm coming to sprout you myself. Yours truly, Hector Le Mans. Híjole. The great one. Glottis. Glottis. What's happening? How many days has this grand demon gone without driving? Well, we've been hiking for months. Months? Months? Oh, then the noble one will surely die. But. What's wrong with him? Do you not know the one purpose, the one skill, the one desire of this humble spirit? Yes, but we've been so far away from cars and civilization for so long. Why, why did he ever leave his home? I, uh, I got him fired and then I needed a ride. Oh, Gladys, what have I done to you? Can you cure him? His spirit has fallen so low, normal driving would not cure him in time. He needs to go faster. Faster! Do you have any vehicles here that we could use to revive him? Only the trucks that deliver the souls. But they are slow. So slow. Who are you guys? We are mechanics. Save as ye. But we have never before seen one of our kind, so... So large! I've got to go see what I can do. Come back quickly, for his time here is not long. It's the mug rack at the end of the world. I hate it when people leave their crusty mugs out in the break room. Your mother doesn't work here. Since nobody listened to my last warning about keeping this refrigerator clean, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to lock it until some of you grow up. Signed, the facilities department. It's full of rags. Always a good idea to have a clean rag around. Well, it's good to know they recycle oil out here at the end of the world. This better not stain my pocket. What was in that mug? 
Something that powerful could fuel a... A rocket. rocket! If only we had more! Well, I could score you a couple of truckloads if you're interested. We shoot you now like an arrow into the wind. May you pierce the heart of the wind itself and drink the blood of flight. Speed is the food of the great Glottis. Speed bring you life! Come back to us someday! Long gone, my friend. There's nothing here for us now. Except maybe our old car. Dios mio! She's been booby-trapped. By who? Who? Manuel Calavera? Ha ha ha! Well, what happened to the limbo? Hate to tell you, Velasco, but she went down at the Pearl. But we found a new ship, the SS La Mancha, and managed to... The La Mancha? My old rusty bucket? Where is she? Oh, well, we traded her in Puerto Zapato for a team of sled dogs. That does it. I'm out of this stinking mob town. But... Thanks for finding my baby, Manny. Puerto Zapato, here I come. Mob town? You'd think after two years he'd have the little SS Lumbago's lifeboats on, at least. Maybe I'll just finish this for him. Coffin shooter one, two, three, just pour, chill, and serve. That's what the Lombago diorama needed. Fake ocean water. I heard you went pow in Zapato, Daddy. Well, Hector Lamont's tried and missed. Now it's my turn. I'm headed to El Maro to put him out of business. Manny, that place has changed. You don't know what you're getting into. I'd better come with you. Just give me a minute to get ready. Okay, but if you hear a loud explosion anytime soon, the trip's off. Thank you. 
What's that? It's, uh, lumbago lemonade. Try it. Mmm. Perkly little aperitif, actually. <laughs> yes, siree. Not bad tall. <whistles> Tell me where you got that right now! Olivia's kitchen. Lumbago! Manny, aren't we in a hurry? Don't worry. This won't take long. Oh, my stomach don't stretch like it used to. Oh, Gladys. So what is that stuff they pack canned hams in anyway? <laughs> Show, my friend. You wouldn't happen to have a breath mint on you, I suppose. It's not gelling. It can't gel now. It got all nice and warm in my belly. Finding. Color costs more. Hey, good idea! I bet I could keep it down now that it's cold. Just let me get across first, okay? Fiendish. Well, here goes nothing. Looks like Hector's taken over the whole town. He hasn't had much resistance. There's only one small group who oppose him, and they live out on the fringes of the city. Places like this, you mean? I hope they're not hurting Gladys. Ha. Huh. Shows what you know about this group. Their leader is a great man who... Manuel Calavera, we meet again. I see you have found what you were looking for. How fortunate for you to arrive now just as we too are about to achieve success. Our army has grown, and right now our top agents are in Hector's weapons lab, about to close in on the enemy in his own den. I couldn't have done it without you, Manuel. Trap! It was a trap! Stand back. There's only one thing to do. <gasps> Thank you, sir. You have saved me. But more than that, you have enabled me to continue to serve the movement. What did you say about a trap? 
Hector uncovered our agent in his weapons lab. No. You idiot, Fausley. Your new lab assistant is a spy. Haven't you ever heard of a background check? No time to explain. Now I'll have to take matters into my own hands. Take me with you. I've longed to be of service to your cause for years. I bet the agent in this photo is the poor guy that Hector just shot. Who's the plant nut? That nut is Hector Lamont's personal munitions expert, Bowsley, a.k.a. The Florist. That was his job in the old world, but here he is a botanical weapons expert. This has left him fairly conflicted. Why does he make Sproutella for Hector instead of our side? We've been trying to recruit him for years, but his lab is in Hector's tower. He's untouchable. Hmm. This camera's showing nothing but flowers. Must be another fallen agent. High-tech surveillance equipment they have here in the sewer. Okay, don't bite. This is a note. You like notes, remember? Well, here goes nothing. Go, baby, for la revolucion! For me? I know what you're up to. I've been watching. I'm coming to sprout you myself. George truly, Hector Lemans. I knew it! I knew he was out to get me the whole time! You'll never find my secret right out at all. You're going to have to find yourself another florist! It's the part of that soldier that didn't get up and hop out of here on one hand. Better save this part from sprouting. Okay, here's the plan. I need a disguise so I can get close to Hector, and a gun 
so we'll have something to talk about when I get there. If you figure out that part, I'll go find out where he is. His casino tower is directly above these headquarters. All right, meet me there. Volunteers quickly for dangerous work. She could be very useful to the cause. As far as I'm concerned, she is the cause. Any messages for me? No, nope. call stopped coming for you the day you left. They're still sending you that lingerie catalog, though. I've got to figure out some way to disguise this pretty face before I hit the streets. It's not like Johnny Thunderlets just anybody in his review. No. I mean, being allowed to wear the Johnny Thunder makeup is an honor. Yes. A privilege. Yes. So I said to her, you give me that 10% discount or I'm taking my business elsewhere. You said that? Well, oh yes, I was mad, you know. And then, here's the good part. Really? Are you here for the Thunderboy tryouts? Yes, I am. Oh, that's too bad. Because we just got the last two parts. Maybe next season. <laughs> <laughs> of course, as soon as I save up enough money for a double-end ticket, I'm out of here. What? You can't just buy a double N. Well, I know somebody who knows somebody who knows uh, Hector Lamas. Wow, you know everybody. So what did you... So then I says... Hey, out of the dressing room. We got all the Thunder Boys we need. So I... Hey, get lost, pal. No autographs. Show business coffee. I am not kidding. I am a busy man. But I guess so. Ah! Oh! oh, what did you do that for? I didn't. I. You melted my makeup. I can't go on like this. I took you under my wing, and this is how you pay me back. No, no, it's not like that. A little too hot for my pockets, thank you. I 
think he'd be happy to know his body was serving the cause like this. This snowmaker is huge, but the grinder part looks handheld. Aha, uh -huh. it's a bone chipper now. No, nope. once you grind bone, you can't go back to fake snow. This is your lucky day. We got an opening and you're the newest Thunder Boy in the Johnny Thunder Review. Yes, I've been working for this moment all my life. Then sit on down, we gotta start your makeup. Now don't go too far, you never know what time is showtime around here. Hey, what's going on under that raincoat? I don't know. What's going on under that makeup? Agent Calavera? You? Didn't Salvador chop you in half early this evening? Yes, which has given me this glorious opportunity to serve the cause by gathering funds for the LSA while stealing from my arch enemy at the same time. What exactly are you doing with these slot machines? I'll stick myself inside like a finger down the throat of Hector Limons himself. And I'll make the machine regurgitate the wealth it has devoured. Yeah. Buenos dias. Back off, sleazeball, or my husband here will bust your jaw. Meche, it's me. Manny? That's some costume. Here, help me get Mr. High Roller here into this sheet so we can get out of here. Hey, is that you, young lady? I'll get you. Assignment just in from Salvador. Ah. Crack that machine and leave the change right away. Yes, sir. Help! Oh, for crying out loud, young lady! Not funny. Ah. Gah. Not funny. did it! My system worked! I knew it! I told you! That's great! Now let's go so you can buy me a drink at the Romano. I'll meet you at the train station with the tickets. There won't be one from me, so you'll have to go back by yourself. I'll tell that gatekeeper everything. He has to help us. Come, my lovely. I have another infallible system I'd like to demonstrate. Ow. It's tight in the shoulders, but at least it doesn't reek of sled dog.
saw Bowsley run down here. But where did he go? Hello down there. Ooh, never mind. Go back to sleep, whatever you are. Probably in that maze, but I'd never be able to find him without, well, without something really helpful. Hmm, the flakes of bone are... Okay, I think I could follow the trail this way, but I need a little light. Baby tears. Hey, what's that? That must be the floor's hideout. No, not that. The thing coming at us! That ledge looks like a safer place to be, but can't reach. But can't reach. You? I'm picking up a you lot of anxiety up, here. I mean it. I'm not feeling too rosy. I'm heavy. It looks like a big I ball feel of tape screwed I'm to the wall. I'm thinking I better. Screw to the wall. Hector, is that you? You better back off, man. I mean it. I'm not feeling too rosy. I'm heavy. I feel... Hey! You know what you just did? You just opened Pandora's box! Do get out of here right now or I'll let you have it! I'll... Hey there, stranger! Can I help you? Um... Uh... Uh, I'm looking for something in a 9mm. Oh, well, I have a very pretty bouquet of that right here. There you go. Would you like some baby's bread to go with that? Sure. All right, here you go. You have a great day now.
I think this is his good side. I'm here to conduct business with Hector Lamans. I just spoke with him on the phone and he's expecting me. You know Hector Lamans, eh? Hockey dokey. Then answer me this one simple question. Huh. Okay, how many limos does Hector Lamans have in his garage? Sixteen. Yeah, well, that was an easy one. Too bad, I win. Best two out of three. Don't mess with me. I know Hector Lamont. Well, here goes nothing. See? <laughs> I knew you could change him. What? Who are you? I'm the Grim. Oh, I wouldn't talk to him right now. He's mad at us because we won't buy his tickets. Looks like Celso found his wife after all. Celso Flores, what are you doing in Hector Lemont's waiting room? Oh, he sent us out here to make up our minds about his offer. Who are you? If you don't mind me asking. Actually, I work for Hector. He sent me to answer your questions. Eh, uh, I'll handle this, my sweet one. What can you tell me about these double-end tickets? This price seems much more than double. Cost a mint because they save you a mint. Well, I don't have a mint, so what do I care? What exactly are you saving your money for? A rainy day? Because let me tell you, you're dead. Every day is rainy from now on. Yes, but there's no reason not to be careful with your money. Well, enough about you guys. Let me tell you about my problems. Actually, we have a lot of talking we need to do, so... I just got back from the worst vacation I've ever had. Actually, I just got back from quite an adventure myself, so... Well, I'm sure you've seen flying spiders and flaming beavers, but trust me, it gets worse. You see, I've been to the edge of the world and back. I had no idea traveling the land of the dead was so fraught with peril. Now, how much would you pay just to skip the whole thing? Darling, come. Let us blow our nest egg together. Mr. Lamans, we've decided to take you up on your generous offer. Excellent. Excellent. The little lady changed your mind, eh? No. Actually, it was your agent over there. Of course. He's one of my best. <laughs> well, come on in. Let's chat, shall we? Ah, still got it. I don't know who you are. And I don't know what spell you cast on the florist couple, but stick around. Once I'm done with them, there's something across town I'd like to show you. Am I talking about just a job here, or am I talking about opportunity in the general sense? We've had a lot of openings in this office in the last couple of years, and frankly, we've had trouble filling them. I could really use a closer like you on the team. This could be your office. Yeah, try this on. See how it feels. That's yours too. And as an added bonus, 2% of these, Mr... My name's Calavera, and I want a bigger cut. <laughs> oh, but Mr. Calavera, I'm going to need most of these to get myself out of this world. You see, I've been a very bad boy. <laughs> I'm going to deliver those tickets to their rightful owners, and I'm going to deliver you to the Campos pile. I...
Hello? Pigeons? Friends now? So much for my third arm. Port for Glamour Girl here was a bad idea. back there. Where are all of Salvador's men? I don't know. He hasn't told me yet. Hola, Manuel. Time for you to swing, daddy -o. Let's see you walk. These flowers? All people Hector has sprouted? Hey, when you're on top like my boyfriend Hector is, you make a lot of enemies. This is the way in. I just hope there's a way out. She loves me. She loves me not. Well, you're half right. Oh, Manny. So cynical. What happened to you, Manny, that caused you to lose your sense of hope, your love of life? I died. I see. <laughs> I guess Domino is right. You don't have a shred of optimism. Well, when it comes to shreds, Dom is the expert. And by that same logic, Manny, you're about to become an expert in botany. Is this where you tell me all about your secret plan, Hector? How you stole double-end tickets from innocent souls, pretended to sell them but really hoarded them all for yourself in a desperate attempt to get out of the land of the dead? No. <laughs> this is where you writhe around in excruciating pain for about an hour, because that idiot Bowsley ran off with all their fast-acting Sproutella. This slow stuff will sprout you, but it's going to take a long time, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> Manny! Where are you going? You've got some time, you know, before you have to leave. <laughs> 
get it? Leave! <laughs> Liquid nitrogen, not to be used on bone. Ah! Ah. Gracias, Toto Santos. Come on, shake it for me, baby. One of you must be mine. Salvador? Manuel, listen carefully. There's a gun in the trunk of this car, but the trunk key is with my body somewhere in the meadow behind the greenhouse. Find it! Right. And tell Leva that I know she will guide the Alliance wisely when I am gone. For when I bite this explosive tooth, the deadly cloud will sprout not just my target, but me as well. Your target? What are you- Hey, get out of there! Farewell, my friend! What were you talking about with the head of the LSA in there? Huh, Sal? Got something you want to share with the class? Only this. Viva la revolucion! <laughs> he truly gave his body to the cause. Nothing like the real McCoy. Hey! My scythe. Well, what do you know? Sal had a ticket all along. Not picking that up. It's amazing how Salvador's ticket is still drawn to him. seems to be attracted to something over this way. This must be the key to Salvador's trunk. Ah, yes. Lots of ammo. Freeze, Hector. 
Yeah, you heard me. I'm saving my ammo for the big guy. Doesn't sound good. What's going on in there? You can count them if you want. They're all here. How about yours? The company gave me one on the other end. Sort of a retirement present. And, uh, demons ride free, right? Aw, oh, man, you know I can't go with you. I'm a spirit of the land and all that. I can't ever leave this world. I guess I got so wrapped up in saving people, I just assumed I'd be able to save you too. Yeah, but I don't need to be saved. I like it here. I'm not all alone in that basement anymore, thanks to you. I got a new job and all these new friends. I'm a big demon success story. So, I guess this is it then. Come here, give me a hug. <laughs> you were the best boss I ever had. Bye. <laughs> Manny? Yeah? When we get to the next world... What is it, Angel? Are we going to be together? You know, sweetheart, if there's one thing I've learned, it's this. Nobody knows what's gonna happen at the end of the line. So you might as well enjoy the trip.